ahead, Timos. And protect the well. We must not let it be destroyed. There is much gold to be found in the army. So this is an interesting mission, to say the least. I actually really like it, um, especially when we're doing it the more traditional route. Uh, obviously, this can be cheese, is what I did originally. Um, we're actually going to deal with the surface dwellers first, and then we'll deal with the underground side of things. But essentially, this uh, this map is made up of two parts, surface and underground. From an underground perspective, um, red spawns units to attack the Well of Erd. So you can't ignore it, basically. You actually have to deal with the enemy. And on the surface, we've just got Orange to deal with. Now, Orange is actually pretty straightforward to kill, especially early on. So as far as unit production goes, they've got a settlement and a temple. We take care of the watchtower, we take care of the temple. And the enemy just makes a couple of berserkers. And we can basically, for the most part, cripple or kill Orange before ever having to deal with red. And then we've got only one thing we need to deal with, rather than two. So interestingly, Orange does have gold, even though we don't. Where is, uh... Dragon leaf. Did I leave it down there or something? She's definitely in the party. I see her in the thing. She's hidden somewhere over there. Okay, so that's... Oh, they actually rebuilt the temple. Interesting. Sneaky. What good that did them? Okay, so they will try to build a great hall here normally. Um, obviously we've stopped them before they even got chance, so that's great. Looks like this is my new team one. Leave team two behind. I need to get some wood production so that we can build houses. This is what we need to deal with. So the enemy red actually spawns units. Um, we actually can't build on the underworld either. So we have to build everything on the surface to uh, deal with the enemy below. But now we don't have to worry about orange attacking us or anything like that. So it makes our life considerably easier. If you were a little bit slow on this, you can just use the freeze to freeze the enemy army until you get there. Which is a perfectly viable strategy. There are a load of relics in the underworld, but honestly, I don't think any of them are actually really worth grabbing. I'd go as far as say a complete and utter waste of time. It's like villagers have more health and stuff. It's like, well, it doesn't really help. We do want to race towards building a CC. Okay, 
Já, já, skipan, já, samt, samtug, hver er það? So we're going to take full advantage of the fact there's gold in the surface. We're also going to move over to dwarf production. Now you can actually set double rally points from here to here, which is great. Uh, eventually we'll be moving over to farms, but for now there's plenty of deer for us to harvest. I'm actually going to build a second ox cart over here because there's far more wood to grab. Uh, we do probably want to move over towards um, the next age. It does help. I'm also going to want to build a couple of houses as well to sort out a pop cat problem. So the reason why we um, cheese this one is all we have to do to win the mission is just to kill these sort of must balls. And even at this point we could easily do that. Um, just got to be mindful that the enemy does spawn troops. I believe the timings are around something like the 10 to 12 minute mark and the 20 minute mark. So pretty much every 10 minutes ish, I think. Not a hundred percent on that, but it seems to be around that kind of time frame. Of course it's a Monra. So the enemy units are champion units, which are obviously the myth upgrade, so we need to uh, make sure that we are getting to a position where we can match that ourselves. So we're going to build, at this point, more workers again, and we're going to head towards a farm production. We are pretty much okay as far as... Um, uh, gold goes, so we're probably going to, uh, once we've built this wolf, we're going to move over or transition into workers. I'm going to set them to wood, but as they create, I'm going to be building farms, essentially. So, uh, yeah, Orange is completely dead. They're not going to do anything more this mission. So, not to worry about them anymore. We can move these guys over to here. We do want to start building more troops. So yeah, we can't build on this land. What I am going to do is build a temple. That. And that. Yeah. 
energetic. Do we need to be careful we don't over push into the enemy? This is purely a defensive army at this point. That just yet. So we need to build this just so that we can age up. This point, I'm going to get them to uh, help. The other thing we need to build is an armory. And once we've aged up, or once we've uh, at least hit the age up option, we'll be able to focus very heavily on uh, production. Production. Some units for a sec so we can focus on the upgrades. Much ready to rock and roll to be honest we could probably push in now if we wanted uh, the next enemy spawns about 20 minutes so i think we'll wait for that and then we'll deal with whatever's left it should give us plenty of time to get all of our upgrades
I'm just gonna send these back so that we can build a second armory just in case. So I think there's still more upgrades to grab. as much. Let's this point we'll at least start attacking the enemy. I'm well aware that we can just end whenever we want. I just want to kill all of Red. Well, to be fair, there's not that many troops. It's just they more summon, summon troops periodically. them so we can basically kill everything off the only problem with freeze is the enemy like the AI still seems to keep targeting them frozen units, which is obviously not ideal. Should be enough to finish this off. I think the enemy has any more troops anyway. Pretty sure that's everything. I'll just hold fire just in case it isn't. No, that's the lot. That's where the enemy spawns anyway. Yeah, pretty more much a uh, more of a traditional route to the uh, to win this mission.
Carlos, we must go. There is nothing we can do for him. All right, peak Iron. Alrighty, folks, that'll right about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.